now. So let us try to work with the rows and columns. Okay. So let us identify how many rows are there, how many columns are there for a particular row. So that activity we are going to do now. So how to identify total number of rows in a particular Excel sheet? Okay, how many rows we have? One, two, three, four, five. Five rows, isn't it? Five rows of data. Correct? Yes. So how to identify total number of rows in a particular sheet? It's very simple. First, WB dot, go and get the sheet. What sheet you want to get access? That is sheet three. So after getting access to the workbook or sheet, then what do you want to know? You want to get the row? No, right? You want to get how many rows are there in that particular sheet. So get row count. Get last row number is the option what we have. Get last row number. See. WB dot, get the sheet. Go and get the sheet three up till here. So this will go and get access the sheet three. After that, I'm asking you to get the last row number. What is the last row number? Five. Okay. See, we have data till row five. Correct? Yes. So last row number, it will give you in terms of index. Means it will give you four as an output. Index. So int r count. So yes, so. R count. Very simple, isn't it? I'm running the test. Last row number. This is a method what we have to get how many rows are there in that particular Excel sheet. So four rows are index four is what it has given. So technically five rows we have zero, one, two, three, four. So five rows. Okay, so this is how we use to get the total number of rows in a particular sheet. This is a method. Last row number, get last row number. Now, how to get total number of columns? How many columns we have in that particular sheet? Okay, so here I'll write one more column. So we have column still F in the sense zero or one, two, three, four, five, six columns what we have. But the point is that see the very important point directly we can't access columns without giving rows information. See, without giving sheet information, I can't ask for the rows. Your system says that there are many sheets for which sheet you want row information. Same like that, system will not give you directly row count, so directly column count. First, we need to specify for which row you want columns. If I say A, for A, how many columns we have? Three columns. Sorry, if I say 0th column index, row index, is a row, right? So if I say I want total number of columns in first row, index is 0. In that case, it will say 3 is the answer means we need to provide row number and system will provide total number of columns for that particular row only, not the whole sheet because sheet contains rows, rows contains columns. Without accessing row, we can't access columns directly. Okay, so if I want to get total number of columns of this particular, then I need to provide, first of all, its row number, okay? So let's see. WB dot get the sheet, sheet three. See, we don't have any option called get last cell number. No. So first one it what we need to do first, you get the row. What row you want? Okay. So you want column numbers of this row or this row, whatever. So I want how many columns are there in this particular row. So the row is 0, 1, 2. OK. WB dot get sheet, get row, 
after getting the row what we need to do now get last cell number this will give you the option so row 2 contains let's see how many columns so columns will give you absolute value it will not give you in terms of index number of columns so it will give you the real value six we have six columns in that particular row okay 